Welcome to our department website, texasvfw.org. Today we will go over the site so you will know where to find any Texas VFW information. So when you type texasvfw.org in the URL space and then hit enter, you will be taken to the Texas VFW homepage. I will cover what information is located on each page. As you can see, in the top left-hand corner are social media icons. If you click on the Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube icon, it'll take you to the department's social media accounts. Underneath the social media buttons is the contact button. If you click this, it will take you to the Contact Us page. We will cover this page later, so go ahead and click the back button to go back to the home page. At the top middle of the screen, there is the Texas VFW logo. This logo will show up on every page in the same position and any time you click on it, it will take you to the home page. At the top right are buttons, Submit VPRs, and Report Community Service. If you click the Submit VPRs button, it will take you to the online Veteran Project Participation Report form. If you click on the Report Community Service button, it will take you to the online reporting of community service form. Click on the Texas VFW logo to go back to the home page. You can also click the home option in the navigation menu at the top left to go back. The navigation menu provides you with page options so you can quickly get to the information you are looking for. I will go through every navigation option in a moment, but let's focus on the home page for now. When you come to the home page, you can't help but notice the slideshow of photos. Those photos cover current events, and if you see a photo or topic that interests you, click the Read More button, and it will take you to the place where there is more content in the subject that you clicked on. Under the slideshow is a brief description about Texas VFW. Under the description is a button that says About Us. If you click that button, it will take you to a page that goes more in depth about the VFW. Go back to the home page. Under the About button is options to view the Texas VFW News page, the Become a Member page, and the Community Involvement page. Under that section is some options to view the Events Calendar, Upcoming Events, and Job Postings. Under that is a Texas VFW Military Photos video where you can send us your old military photos and information and we can add it to the collection for others to see. Underneath that is a list of important Texas VFW messages. And lastly, on the footer is another navigation menu to easily and conveniently travel around the Texas VFW website. There is also a Donate Now button. When clicked, it takes you to a place where you can easily donate to the Texas BFW Foundation. If you hover over the home menu option, a sub-menu appears. Click on the About option. This page displays our mission, veteran advocacy, community programs, information on how to support service members and families, and Did You Know Facts section. You can scroll to get to the information below, or you can hit a page menu navigation to get to the information that interests you. Hover over the home button again and select the history button. What appears is a video on the history of the VFW. The video is split up into five parts. You can access each part of the video by clicking on the red links above the video. Underneath the video is a summary of the history of the VFW. Underneath that is a brief summary on the Cross of Malta. In this section, there is a red link below where you can click on it where it says to view past state commanders, click here. And it will take you to all the Texas VFW state commanders where you can view their portrait and biography. Go ahead and click the back button or go to the history tab and select that. Beside the Cross of Malta is the origins of the VFW cap it shows some information below it and a link to the article about where the VFW cap came from. Beside Origins is the History Publications, where there is a detailed written history of the VFW. You may click on an article to read more about our organization. 
Hover over the Home tab, then click on Contact Us. This page displays many contact options. At the top of this page are three buttons. If you click on the Contact Your District button, it takes you to a page of districts who have a website. If you click on one of the district options, it'll take you to that district's page. Go back to the Contact Us page. If you click on the Contact Your Post button, it takes you to a list of post websites where each link takes you to a website of the posts that you clicked on. Also on this page is a link to a list of every post. Select the Click here for this list. And what shows up is an alphabetically ordered by city list of the Texas VFW post, along with that post's contact info. Go ahead and exit out of that window and go back to the Contact Us page. The last button says Financial Assistance. If you click this button, a document that explains more about the program appears. It also holds the Financial Assistance application. Go back to the Contact Us page. This page also shows a map of where we are located and our contact information. If you click on the social media icons, it takes you to our social media pages. If you fill out the message box, it'll send your message to my email where I respond to it directly, or I can direct it to a person who can best answer your question. Below the map is a link to the Texas VFW News Media Kit. Click here if you would like to advertise in our publication or our Facebook page. Underneath that, in the red section, is a list of department staff and their emails, our service officer's contact info, the Texas VFW Foundation contact info, and a mailing address for packages and standard mail. If you hover over the Home button again, click on the Membership option. At the top center of the page is a publication summarizing the Texas VFW. If you would like, you can flip through that for some reading. Underneath that is information on VFW memberships and buttons to a print version of a membership application form. Below that is a brief summary of the Auxiliary, Military Order of the Cootie, and VFW Motorcycle Group. Hover over the Home tab and select the State Officers option. Here you will find a list of our current State Officers in their biographies. On here, there are sections for Deputy State Chief of Staff, W State Inspectors, State Committee Chairs, and Service Officers. At the top right hand of the page, there is a link to view the past State Commanders. Hover over the Home tab and select the Candidates option. On this page, you can view who will be running next year for state positions. You can view their bios here. Click on the News Navigation option. This page shows current event photos. The Texas VFW News Magazine, a link to the magazine archives that lists all the newspapers and magazines in Texas VFW history. There is a link to the Action Corps Weekly that shows the latest veteran news, sections for legislative news, POWMIA, and TAPS. Look over and read these sections for more details. Hover over the News tab and select Community Involvement option. On this page is a link to the Online Community Service Reporting Forum, information on what community service means to the VFW, a button to the online VPR forum and photo albums to patriotic days and community service throughout Texas. If you click on an album, it'll take you to the photos of the event you clicked on. Go back to our website. Hover over the News tab again and select the Calendar option. A calendar will appear. This showcases Texas VFW events, national VFW events, deadlines, meetings, and more. The next option under the News tab is Feature Stories. If you click this, you can view and read all of the Texas VFW's in-house press releases. Click the Read More buttons to read the full articles. Under the Feature Stories option is Correspondence. Click that and you will see a variety of information from Texas VFW and National VFW. 
And you will also see the National Headquarters Bulletin, general orders for all VFW units, and three of the most recent planning calendars. Under the correspondence option is job opportunities. Click on that. This page is full of valuable resources and information for veterans who are job hunting. Go to a page to translate your military skills to find jobs. You can click the translate your military resume to civilian resume, or you can click the option to view the entire veteran resource list. Below the buttons are up to date job opportunities in Texas. If you click on the Programs Navigation option, a page appears and shows an informational overview about what our programs are about. To get more specific with the programs, hover over the Programs tab and click on Veterans. This page has a plethora of veteran programs, information, and resources. Underneath Veterans is Youth Scholarship option. Select that and it will take you to a page of all the VFW Youth Scholarships that we participate in. On this page, you will find Patriot's Pen, Voice of Democracy, and Scout of the Year information, deadlines, and administrative documents for these programs. Under Youth Scholarships is the Teacher Recognition option. Select that to view documents and forms for the VFW Teacher of the Year awards. You can also view the Texas VFW Teacher of the Year winners. Also located under Programs is the Membership option. Click this and you'll be taken to Texas VFW Mentorship Program. Taking up the majority of the page is the Texas VFW Mentorship Training video. Underneath that is the Texas VFW Mentorship Program Guide. If you click the VFW National Home option, under the Mentorship option, it'll take you to the external site for the VFW National Home for Children. Go back to Texas VFW website. Click on the Admin tab. Here is a page that lists the sections of the admin portion of the website. You may click on any link here to view more about the selected topic. These options are also located in the submenu of the Admin tab. Hover over the Admin tab. Select SOP, Training Materials, etc. At the top right of the page is a button where you can view or print out the standard operating procedures for Texas VFW posts and districts for 2017-2018. Also on this page, you will find links and resources to post books and forms that cover officer training seminar lesson plans, post commander, post adjutant quartermaster, and post programs and forms. If you scroll down to the white section, you will see additional resources that include legal information, VFW general information, VFW post officers and committee information, and VFW assistance programs. Below that, in the blue section, are district books and forms. These books, forms, and programs focus on district commander, district adjutant quartermaster, and district programs. Take a moment to look over what is listed to get yourself more familiar with what is available on this page. Also located under the Admin tab is the option Bylaws, MLP, Ritual Changes, Resolutions. Click that. You can see that this page is divided into three sections, National VFW, Department of Texas VFW, and District and Post Bylaws. Take some time to look over this page to see what information it offers. You can also view the bylaws of the Department of Texas here along with bylaw and article of incorporation templates. Also under the admin tab is quartermaster payments option. Click that and it shows instructions, forms, and the rates of quartermaster bonding, blanket bonds, service officer registration, Texas House of National Home donation, map donation, and buddy poppies. Under the admin tab, the next option is report community service. When you click this, it'll take you to the online reporting for community service. This is the primary means of turning in community service reports. Under the report community service option is the submit VPRs option. 
This will take you to the online reporting form for VPRs. This is the primary means of turning in veteran project participation reports. If you hover over the admin tab and click the instructions online election reports, it'll take you to a document that shows you step-by-step -step directions for submitting an election report. Under the admin tab, the next option is status sheet. If you click this option, it will take you to the most updated status sheets. This page is organized by districts. To view the status sheet from your district, click the status sheet button located below the portrait of your district commander. There are other options to choose from on this page. Take a moment to look at the top half of the page to view the different options you can select. The last selection under the admin tab is set up a Facebook account. If you click this option, it'll take you to a Texas VFW Facebook assistance site. Within the site are benefits, do's and don'ts, and how-to sections of setting up a Facebook account for your post or district. Return to the Texas VFW website. The next navigation option is sponsors. Select this option. It'll take you to a list of people who sponsor the Texas VFW news publication and a small list of important sites. If you click on the VFW store tab, it will have a brief overview of the store and two options. You can get Texas VFW brand items and go to the online VFW store. The last page is the foundation page. At the top right of the page is a green button that should be clicked when looking to acquire financial assistance. This button will take you to the Texas VFW Foundation's Veterans Assistance Program and application. Return to the Foundation page. The information listed below the slideshow are important programs for those needing assistance. The bold blue words are links to those programs. There is a Donate Today button under the information. When you click this button, you can donate to the Texas VFW Foundation. Under that is a link where you shop at Amazon Smile. Every purchase you make, Amazon donates to the Texas VFW Foundation. That concludes the training for the Texas VFW website.